Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you so very much for joining me once again. Now, I know it's been a while since I have done an unboxing. Well, hi guys, welcome back. Thank you so very much for joining me once again. I appreciate you for joining me. Now, I know it's been a while since I've done an unboxing, especially an unboxing of the Soul Sample box. But, my box came yesterday and I figured I would share it with you all. Um, this is the Soul Sampler box. This is uh, June 2021's box. Now as you know, like most companies, they are um, some of them are having um, delays in their shipping. So that's why I am just not getting June's. Hopefully they say July will be um, on time, so fingers crossed it would be nice. But if it's not, it's understandable. So let's uh, see what's inside the box. But first, let me tell you what the soul sample is. It is a um, monthly quilting subscription box from the Fat Quarter Shop that um, normally would ship around the 20th of each month. And it comes full of notions and fabric and and things like that. Now the notions could be even a fabric could be anything, and it could really it could even be things that you know about already, um, that you have wanted and you, maybe you put them on your wish list and you haven't got it yet. But when it comes, shows up in your soul sample box, it gives you a chance to try it out for yourself. Um, and you get to check it off your wish list. And then if it's not really your cup of tea, you just pass it on to another um, quilty friend that you think would be able to use it. It is totally up to you. Now, with that being said, I think we can get into the unboxing part because I'm excited about seeing what's inside for uh, June. So I'm just going to cut the tape, then I'm going to put the box off to the side. Well, I'll show you what the theme is because it has that um, pamphlet in there that tells you what the theme for the, the month is. So June's month was Vintage Soul. So, so I'm going to sit it off to the side and then I put everything out in front so you can see it. Let's see what's on the back of here. It is coupon codes. So I have a coupon code for a free So Clean brush set if I spend $15 or more. A 20% off coupon code for Laundry Basket Favorites Collection. I even have a 30% off coupon code for uh, Editor Sitar's Pillow Talk Book. Awesome. And we have until. August 20th, 2021, but I think they extended that because the box came late, so that might be extended. I can't show you the um, the back. I, well, I could if I had something to cover it with, but I don't think I do. Well, let's see. Will this work? So you can at least see some of what it is. So you have the brush set some of the fabric and then uh, Editor Sitar's Pillow Talk book. So we have coupon codes for all of those. That's it. So now what's in the box? Of course you have your booklet that tells you everything that's in there. But as usual, we won't look in this until or unless I get stuck and I need to get some clarity on what this is the, what this is what the object is exactly but don't sit that too far away so first things first let's see we have what's this a needle threader this is pretty desert rose needle threader that's pretty It helps you thread your needle. So we have that. 
and this is a limited edition Desert Rose Needle Threader. Next we have some heat resistant thimbles from the Gypsy Quilter. Silicone protects, it's silicone heat resistant thimbles, protects your fingertips from hot surfaces. Those could definitely come in handy. Got that. And next we have Flamingo Toes by Beverly McCauley. Also stiletto and a turn a flamingo stiletto turning tool. That's cute. I like the flamingo. Even though it's pink. Cause if you know, you know, I like blue. But I can I can welcome pink in my life sometimes, I guess. Turn every point it turn every point perfectly ideal for point turning detail work pressing seams or marking fabric is six and a half inches tall so let's um, uh, let's get this open just the best way maybe it can poke out the back ouch So we can get a better look at it. I thought maybe something was inside, but it's not. It's just this is it. So you use the pokey tool, a stiletto, and then you can use the pointed part to get your. Uh, when you're turning your fabric inside out, when you need to get your corners out, you got the pointy tool, the end down there to help with that. This is cute. I like this. So we have that. And then one of our favorite things, the fabric. It is a hundred years, the seamstress by Editor Sitar of Laundry Basket Quilts. Oh, it's two in there. It's two, uh, 42 piece, five, um, by five inch square charm packs of, um, uh, of the seamstress uh, fabric. So let's look at one and see the patterns that's inside. So you see that one. Same color. It's like that um, cream tan color. All of them, well, the first ones are like that color. And then you have that one. Have two of these, so I guess really you have four because you got two packs. They have this, look like cherries. Yeah, this is two of these. Mm, let's try this. Oh, look at that. You got two of those. That's pretty. I like that. The leaves. The leaves. That look like it's like a dot with a line up under it. That's all it is. A, a dot with a line. Dot and line all over. It's only one of those. Then you had that one of the like cherries again. It's one of those. Then you had this one. one of those they have that one that almost look like an animal print from afar but it's not it's or like a hexagon or it could be dots take your pick then you have this one 
Oh, I like this one too. It's another one with the dot and the line. One of those. Then you had another one with the dots and the line. I like the big flowers. Another leaf. I think that might be my favorite one, the one with the leaf. Then you have that with the uh, smaller flowers. And again, another one with the olives or cherries or whichever. Maybe they should be, maybe they're olives. I don't know. Again, take your pick. You decide. Then you have this, like a grid. Oh, this is cool with the the pattern going like that. The zig, the wavy lines and dots. That's nice. It's one of those. Oh, I like this one too. Yeah, I really think the ones that have this this uh, flower on it with the leaves, the branches around it, I think that's those are my favorite ones. And the leaves, my favorite. Then you have this, this one. This is a new one. I can't really tell what that is. I'm gonna go with maybe some branches. Then you have this. Another with the dot and the lines. And like a cranberry color, but then you have some lighter ones thrown in there. This another one of those cobblestone looking ones, the hexagon ones. Then you have another of the cherries slash olives in the, like the cranberry color. And then you have this one. I think this is the last one. Yeah, it is. So you have it. And that's it. That is all of the, the f patterns for in the seamstress by Edith Sitar of Laundry Basket Quilts. They're pretty. I like them. Let's see what pattern goes with it. And the pattern is called Unraveled. And the size is 46 and a half by 46 and a half. I think that will be really nice with this uh, fabric. With these charm packs. So let's see. What more do you need? You need, uh, that's probably on the back. You need both of the charm packs. So you need one and three eighths yard for your background and your first and third, for your first, third, and fifth borders. You need three eighths yard for the second border, three eighths yard for the fourth border, a half a yard for the sixth border and five eighths yard for the binding. And then you need three and one fourth yard for your backing. And again, it measures at 46 and a half by 46 and a half. And this is the unraveled quilt. So you have that. And that's how the quilt looks. I think it looks nice once you get it done. And then the. Um, the bright side block number three. Let's see. That's the the block from uh, June. And that is the bright side quilt along. That is was designed by Sherry McConnell. And that is everything that was in the box, my friends. 
I know it was a long wait, but it's finally here, and I like everything that came in the box. I mean, the the needle thread is really cute. I really like the fabric, and I really like the penguin. I can find many uses for this, so very useful. So at some point, I will get around to actually making this quilt. I don't know when, but I will. So what do you guys think? Did you like it? Have you, do you get the box? Have you received your box yet? What did you think of it? Let me know your thoughts on the box. Um, I would love to read your comments. And if you are not already a subscriber of my channel, and uh, a part of my YouTube family, I would love to have you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell so you'll be notified in time I upload a new video. Because I would love to have you as part of my crafty family here on YouTube. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. So I will do my best to do an unboxing for the July 2021 Soul Sampler box. Fingers crossed. That it ships out as normal for this month. We'll see. So that's it. So remember to take a little time to do something crafty. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.